With AppScan Standard 1008, you can run a Web API scan using your own Postman collection. Simply import it to AppScan, and AppScan uses it to test your Web API automatically. In this demo, we'll configure and run a scan using AppScan Sample Postman collection. It has requests to the AppScan demo test site, and you can use this file to try out the feature for yourself. It's located in your AppScan installation folder here. Note that if you scan a web API that has a login, the authorization request must be one of the first requests in the collection. On the home screen, click Import Postman Collection, and on the dialog that opens, browse to your collection file. If the collection links to any files, they must be saved together in a single zip file and added here. You can also add an environment file and a globals file if they're needed for the collection. Here you need to specify the domain you want to test, even though it's obviously in the collection. You can add additional domains if they're also part of the collection and you want them scanned too. Note that only domains you define here will be tested. There are now two scan options. When you're importing a specific collection for the first time, it's a good idea to choose the first option. AppScan will upload and run the collection. It will then analyze the explore data and configure login management for the scan. And then it stops. You can then check that there are no issues with the collection or the configuration before you start the test stage. With the second option, AppScan proceeds automatically to the test stage without user intervention. We'll leave the default selection and click Import. On the dashboard, we can see a summary of the explore data. And of course, we can see the details if we switch to data view. Let's open the configuration dialog and see what's happened there. In Login Management view, we can see that the recorded login option is selected, which means that AppScan detected the login request. And here, we see that login is successfully configured. In the Review and Validate tab, we can see the login request and the in-session pattern that AppScan detected to use for verifying when it's logged in and when it gets logged out by the app. Now, if we look at the login playback, we can see that the login request was the third request in the collection. By default, AppScan analyzes the first seven requests for the login but this number can be increased in advanced configuration if needed. Now we'll close the configuration dialog and click Continue Full Scan, which runs the test stage to complete the scan. This concludes the demo.